Robert back here, Bluegrass Bushcraft. Give an update on my spoon. You all can see it's coming along here pretty good. Not the straightest in the world, not the prettiest in the world. But it did turn into a spoon. I really like it. But let's be honest with you, I had uh, plans on putting hot coals in the spoon to burn the dip into it, but just wasn't working for me I don't know how I've seen that done on YouTube but honestly I don't know how they done it I put a hot coal in there and the coal would burn on top and it would not burn down into the bottom of the spoon just the coal itself would burn and I blew it with a straw everything and the coal would just go out I don't know what the deal was and monitor on this camera is not much I can't tell how much detail it's showing on here but I do have pretty good indention down inside the spoon. It's it's fairly deep. I've got it carved fairly thin. And uh, Melissa came out here while I was started carving on this, and she's already called dibs on it. Said it's hers. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I don't guess I'll be using this one. Guess I'll have to make me another one. Y'all know how that goes. But uh. Anyway, on the bowl, or the dip of the spoon there, I said I tried the hot coal, did not work. I've got this little gouge here. I was trying it with that, but it's really dull. I really am terrible at sharpening any kind of tool, knife or anything. I'm terrible at it. So it's dull. I couldn't sharpen it. And it was barely eating in there, so what I did do cheated a little bit I took my micro torch and I burnt a little hole in the center of here uh, and I take the the gouge here and I would gouge out the char and dig it out burn a little more and dig a little more down in so that got the progress growing going pretty good and uh, but then I did end up using the gouge just to finish it out. Got all the char out and all the dark burnt cherry. It's all gone out of there. And uh, so all that's left now, I think you can see that. It's really rough. You can see all of the carved marks in it. So uh, what we're going to do now is um, clean it up a little bit. Which I'm going to use the F1 as a scraper and uh, just see if I can scrape this clean it off a little bit and then I got several different grits of sandpaper see how that goes Using the blade just as a scraper. Just get some of the roughness off. Y'all can hear the difference in that sound now. I've got this down really thin.
I'm going to use this knife just as a scraper. Cut down on a lot of the sand in time. This really scrapes it off really smooth. Handle itself won't need much sanding at all. It's done a pretty good job at sanding, smoothing it down. Get the major roughness off of it. This is an 80 grit sandpaper. Get down inside that spoon real well. On my hand, the sandpaper, and just take a spoon. Pushing it off pretty good. Smoothing right up. Not sure what the best type of oil to use on this. Y'all watching this video that have carved spoons and such drinking cups. I know there are certain oils you can put on. You don't want to put anything on here, it's gonna poison anybody. I thought about just using regular vegetable oil, but I don't think that will hold up. 